You're being asked to integrate this. It looks pretty scary, but it's actually pretty easy. So solution. Let's try a u substitution. If we let this be u, then du should be something like that. So let's try it. Let's set u equal to sine 3x. And then du, well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So here we just get cosine 3x times the derivative of the inside, right? So 3 dx. That's the chain rule. We almost have what we want. The goal is to make this match what we have in our integral up here. So here we have a 3, and here we don't have a 3. There's no 3 in the integral. So we'll divide both sides by 3 to make it match the integral. So this is du over 3 equals cosine 3x dx. And now we have it. right? This piece here, we said that's our u. And then this piece here, cosine 3x dx, that's just du over 3. You can really think of this as 1 third du. All right, so now we'll finish. Let's rewrite our integral. So this is equal to 1 third, just pull the number out, secant squared of u du. Okay, so this right here, this was du over 3. And we just put the 3 on the outside. And this is u, and here we have the u, so no problems there. Uh, when you integrate this, if you ever forget how to integrate this, just ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is secant squared, tangent? So this is 1 third tangent of u plus c, which is 1 third tangent, and u is sine 3x. It's the tangent of the sine of 3x plus our constant. And that is the answer. That's it.